Father, I pray for the fire of identity to burn hotter than the fire of temptation around them. The fire of identity on the inside of them. Father, I pray right now that they would arise as the sons that you've called them to be. But Father, I thank you that you have called them to lead on their school campuses, on their jobs, in the youth group. Father, I thank you that sons will arise in this house specifically on every campus. I thank you that sons are first servants. So I pray for the servant level to increase right now. I would say a lot of times these events can be hyped up and people can be led to believe that it's just kind of going to be a dance party, it's just going to be lights and music and pumpy worship songs and just a good time hanging with your friends. And all those things, I will say they do occur, but I will tell you that I never remember any of those things. The things that I've walked away with, the things that keep me coming back, it has nothing to do with the lights, it has nothing to do with the sound. It has to do with the people, it has to do with the experience and encounter that I've personally had with God and I've seen now as a leader students having with God. Um, when I was a student, I was probably 16 years old, at this very place, um, in the very room that we're in this weekend, I was able to be on the worship team. I was playing drums and during a live worship set, I was really praying that somebody, some leader would come pray for me and I was specifically praying um, for the youth pastor, uh, Dustin Ludwig, to uh, come pray for me. Um, and I was like, nobody's going to come pray for me. I'm playing drums live um, during a worship set, and Dustin walks up on the side of the stage and just told me he felt like he needed to pray for me, and he prayed for me right there. And that's what I remember. And the messages are awesome. The speakers are awesome. But I remember the one-on-ones that I have got to have and the, the one-on-one time that I got to have with God and just being able to hear his voice and listen to him clearly. And the word of God says to knock and keep knocking. I haven't gotten my healing yet, but I'm going to keep on knocking. I don't feel clean, but I'm going to keep on knocking. I'm going to knock, I'm going to ask, I'm going to seek. And God's word is true. It says it does not return void. So you keep asking him because he is your father. And because he's a good father, he gives it to you in the right timing. Who you are is always beyond where you are. Because God sees what's in you from the beginning. God looks at seeds and sees trees. He looks at children and he sees heroes and he sees world changers. He sees much more than what others see because he says man looks at the outward appearance, right? But God looks at the heart.